Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory and welcome to part 61 of my Scots Wahey campaign in Crusader Kings 2. So we've just recently taken the county of Essex down here from the King of Burgundy. We're fabricating on Kent now. And I sacrificed one of my oldest friends today because of my greediness. One of my friend's enemies offered me a bribe I couldn't resist. I gained one gold. Um, yeah, so we were had the ambition to see the realm uh, prosper. And that went to pot when we decided to attack Essex, which is fine. Uh, diplomacy. And we can still press this de jure claim on Farriar. Earl Rupert of Clydesdale has requested that a low rank vassal should serve him directly rather than me. And who is this vassal? Bishop of Gateshead. You have Clydesdale and uh, Durham. And you want this guy. I don't know why he's my vassal. Um, yeah, fine, have him. Okay. So let's have a look at tech. I haven't checked us out for a while. Okay. Point eight, point eight, point two, three. That's not going to Siege equipment. Well, let's spend the money. I'll spend the points there. My liege, I am pleased to report the success of my mission to Durham. Oh, they've been converted back to Catholic. Excellent. Do you have any other fraticelli? Doesn't seem to be. So you just go back, do your thing. Okay, I'm sure I was looking at something there, but I've forgotten what it was. Oh yeah, tech. Uh, town infrastructure or church infrastructure and improved keeps. Again, town, infra town infrastructure isn't increasing at all. So, we'll do that. 200 gold. Yeah, need to keep that running. Budget deficit. Yep, that's fine. Uh, yeah, a lot of diplomats getting churned out these days. And then here. Majesty. Yeah, I think we'll go with Majesty. You hired you have hired an old assassin to teach you how best to thwart the efforts of his kind. He has taught you several valuable lessons, like never sitting with your back towards a door, and to never stay long in an inn that smells of manure. <laughs> Game on intrigue. Intrigue is reduced significantly. I'm trusting in kind, and I was caught red-handed. That's right, murdering a bishop. Into uh, um, oblivion. Just remembered that I took off auto-stop plots. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind if you're trying to kill him. It's in the dungeon. Should be easy to find. 
I'm going to have to stop the rest of them just now. I don't have any factions, so I'm okay with that. Uh, Bronwyn. Let's uh, ransom you. By chance, you have learned that an old tailor in York once worked as spymaster for a local nobleman many years ago. The stories of his deeds and exploits are the stuff of legends. If even half of it is true, then this man could surely teach you a thing or two about intrigue. Yes, I will look him out. Emperor's that Prince Angel of France and Princess Ulwin of Scotland should get betrothed. Uh, you are the heir to the Kingdom of Austrasia. Okay. Sounds good to me. As you visit the tailor in his modest shop, the harmless looking little man feigns ignorance and for a moment you wonder if you have the wrong person. He kindly turns to fetch you some tea, but then suddenly, before you can react, he is standing behind you with a knife at your throat. Who sent you? He hisses into your ear. After questioning you, the old man is finally satisfied that you're not there to kill him. He grudgingly agrees to teach you some of his tricks, if you promise to keep the secret of his past to yourself. Agreed. Epidemics. Camp fever. Okay. Benedict curious that Catholic priests are constantly pestering El Rue no matter what he promises to do or no matter how much money he bestows to the Catholic Church. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's not much to be doing in here. Complete power, that's fantastic. And. I'm always wondering about this. They may do it someday. At age 29, Ellen Kirkin died under suspicious circumstances. And after 100 years, the Kingdom of Scotland, the Duchy of York, is no longer considered a de jure part of the Kingdom of England. De jure Kingdom of Scotland. Okay, I wonder, could I make Burgundy a vassal, or a tributary? My, what? <laughs> I'm a bit taken aback by that. Um, excellent. So I'm 50. No, she's only 34. Oh, well. Um... Essex, that was fast. Embrace the Pictish culture. I wonder. Is it worthwhile trying to make Wessex tributary again? I'm making an awful lot of money. It's not. It's not so much about is it worth it in terms of the monetary sense. It's about it's fun. It gives us something to do in peaceful times. Duke of Lancaster. I'm the Duke of Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. I've studied long and hard under the old spy master in my spare time. Taught me much about the game of Cloak and Dagger. And we're now up to seven. And your husband... Oh yeah, Prince of Brittany. Heir to the Kingdom of Brittany. Old man 60. Duke Odrus III of Orkney has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Duke Oipoig of East Anglia. He seems to like me well enough. Mm 
Yeah, and just threaten them. Left at the evidence. Blah blah. And for what reason? Oh well. Send anyway. Oh, you see a to him a dungeon. How disappointing. Can I revoke a title? Touch of East Anglia? Nope. Okay. You can stay imprisoned for a while then. And you... You are... Where are you? Leading troops in York. That's right. Okay. Do with a better spy master. And Duke of Orkney. Slightly better. It also means we've now got five guys in the council who think I'm fantastic. So King of Burgundy is at war again. Okay. If I had a claim, I could take it. My food has tasted strange lately, and I have begun to eat less and less for fear of being poisoned. I don't trust the spy master to find the poisoner. The only one I can rely on is my friend. Um, okay, somebody probably is trying to kill me. A son. I have a son. Okay. Stewardship will do. Lose seventy gold. Yeah, let's do that. Better to be safe than sorry. With the expensive equipment acquired, Ruprecht did a thorough examination and it did not take long before he presented me with the result. The cook had used rancid meat in the stew and tried covering up the taste with a lot of spices. Some poisonous... Un some poisonous unless... unless used in moderation. Okay, give him another intrigue. I need to find something to do. Make a tributary. That would be fantastic. You can only raise two and a half thousand troops. But I would have to come down here. Special tithe in York. Fantastic. Can we improve? We should be able to do something. Hall of War. Give us more infantry. We've got here. Stables. My wife is pregnant again. I think she's at it. It can't be me. Um... Yeah, let's build the Hall of War. And you oversee construction in York now. The Duke of Galloway seeks to fabricate a claim in the county of Clydesdale. Duke Lewis de Bold of Galloway. Ah, no. Leave him alone. Yeah, I 
So I can hold another two counties. It's probably not worth... Well, I suppose if I, if I were to take some and my ear can't hold them, that's his problem. Uh, excellent. This stewardship's only eight. Do I have any better candidates? He's 52. He's not of my dynasty anyway. Not really. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of priests and shrewd management, the county of Athol is doing very well. Athol prospers. for three years. Should I let you go? Fine. Oh, I can't. Can't pay a ransom. How'd you die? Right, Poig. No, I'm holding on to you. Because you're a pain. Should I hold a feast? Yes, let's hold a winter feast. A daughter is born. Everybody was talking about the musicians and I finally had some time off from the preparations for my feast so I could see what, with my own eyes and hear with my own ears what people was talking about. The musicians were good and they were looking for a patron. Yep, I look for my patronage. When I opened the door, I saw no one, but as I stepped aside to close it, a group of acrobats cartwheeled, somersaulted and tumbled in. They performed all sorts of tricks, and everyone watching exploded into applause when they finished. You'd be perfect for my feast. And the best part about preparing a feast is deciding what foodstuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar and duck. Spices, wine and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Um, yep, I will spend lavishly. Kingdom can afford it. Invitations are sent. Ha, <laughs> I don't like you either. Okay. What? Six people declined... The invitation. I'm looking for this. Well, I suppose. Why do people not like me? Vicious rumours. Elector titles held. Oh, have I not given one away yet? York, Albany. No? Okay. I have a claim on the county of Warwick that I'd forgotten all about. So we're going to declare war for Warwick. Send that. Um, let's raise the men here. Send them into Warwick. We'll stand these ones down. Oh. And that wasn't very clever, was it? Place to hold over in Richmond. Let's get our steward back to collecting taxes. Elwyn must learn on her own, unfortunately. Okay, split in half. And 
you guys go there. my friend I could go to war here as well um, I could do that actually uh, I have received a letter from my fellow member of the Dominican Order Dear Brother Urost, will you, as a Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it. Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses, all in honour of God. Hmm, I am missing the more comforting aspects of faith. Okay, you guys come out to here. Oh no, I can't declare war while we're at war. So you guys stand down. And you just come in here. I was beginning to think that Cardinal Gaucher took offence to my comments, but today I have received a new draft of his work. I am surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out, I implore you, brother, bear with me, it is not finished. Um, yeah, let's publish the works for him. Yeah, we'll speed this up. I cannot believe that you went against my wishes, Cardinal Gosho, did write to me. The poems were far from finished, and now I receive word that my metaphors could use work. I have been humiliated. I put the letter away, frowning. Ah, oh, well. You'll understand in time, and I get one diplomacy out of it. Let's pause while I get rid of these. Lots of people been imprisoned. Victory nearly done. And we have Count Wealth of Cleave. Don't know who you are or why you're mucking about in my lands. But I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to come and kill you. Okay, offer peace. Send. Yes. Yes. And. Slow it up a bit. Young Alwyn has finished her education in diplomacy, she excelled in her studies. Excellent. Married to the Prince of France, and she is a very good wife indeed. This pleases me. Become just or temperate? I would say become just. Would be the best. Okay, you guys get back to York. I forgot I'd raised them. <laughs> Wondered why I was running out of cash. One title be can be created the Duchy of Mercia, betrothed can marry. Okay. Cost 100 gold. I can afford that. So let's create the Duchy of Mercia. To give this a wait. So, let's see. You? You don't have any claims at all. 
depressed. You already have a wife who is significantly older than you. Um, I shall grant you the County of Warwick. And you become uh, Duchess of Mercia. There we go. Accept. Okay, so I'm going to put a break in here. When we come back in the next part, I fully expect us to go to war for Kent as soon as we can and continue our expansion. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment and rate the video. And I hope to see you again in the next part. Cheers.